everyone, I'm Angela from Bake It With Love and today we're going to be making crack grapes, not the uh, internet sensation that everyone names their food crack whatever. Uh, this is actually from crack, the Crack House in Atlanta, Georgia, I believe. So you've probably seen it in a few other places on YouTube. I have a post and I get some questions so I thought it was time to go ahead and make a video with how I make my crack grapes. Um, so. I'm starting out here with a, a heavy bottom saucepan because it distributes the heat better. And I've got my two cups of sugar in it. I've got a half a cup of your light corn syrup. I'll fill this up with two thirds of a cup of water as soon as that's out of there. The corn syrup and the water and the sugar are what you're going to go ahead and cook. And uh, when it's done and after it reaches the hard crack stage, which is 300 degrees, 305 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, then we add the vanilla. And then you work quickly so that you can get all of your grapes coated with the syrup and with the candy. So we're going to get started. We'll add the corn syrup and then run over and grab some water. Add the water and then start, I usually start on a medium high setting and adjust from there up or down as needed. Overall, what we want when this comes to a boil <clears throat> is for it to be bubbling rapidly but not overflowing. You'll need to stir it in between and we'll use our candy thermometer here. If you don't have a candy thermometer, a digital meat thermometer that goes to 300 degrees will work. This clips on the side and kind of sets in there, which is great. I'm not going to put it in quite yet. And it even tells you actually mine has, it says hard crack on the measurements at 300. Hard crack, hard ball, all that down there. So, anyway, if it starts to bubble too rapidly, stir it a lot or remove it from the heat for a second and adjust it down if you need to. Otherwise, if you're not quite uh, progressing upward in your temperature enough, go ahead and bump it up a little bit. And once it does start to boil, it'll take about five minutes to reach that hard crack stage. Just a patience game waiting right now. Uh, and because I'm a complete dork today, I have already filmed this without hitting the record button. So I have some of my crack grapes already made. Uh, I'm going to follow up with that on my post, my recipe post on the website. Because uh, I will have some, I will show tomorrow what they look like after being stored at room temperature. Uh, in the refrigerator and um, after being frozen and then thawed again because I have people ask about that too and even though I normally store mine on the countertop some people have tried in the refrigerator uh, successfully other people have tried in the refrigerator and um, had kind of a condensation effect where everything got real weeby and came off their crack grapes so we will test it personally I will post the link if it's not already it should already be under this or yeah, the post is live already. It's an existing post, so as soon as I post this video, there will already be a related post to it and a link that's live. Scrape the bottoms with your spatula here, and just occasionally. It's not a stir constantly thing, except when it's first coming to a boil here, because it'll look like it's going to boil over. Keep it moving. And we've got a nice rapid boil there. And like I said, now that it's reached this, it's going to take about five minutes, roughly. Now, because we are taking this to 300 degrees, that sauce is going to, the syrup's going to be really hot. Um, you can use toothpicks and you insert it into the stem hole on the end of your grape. You don't have to go in that far, just enough to hold it. Um, toothpicks though I have used with great success, but um, the syrup is hot, so if you want, use a skewer to keep your fingers out of the way. The 
questions I had here, right here, what we have. This is rock candy. It's been crushed, and you can see it moves pretty freely around in the bag. Okay, I've never had a problem with rock candy when I make these. Um, this is Jolly Ranchers. It wants to clump up really badly. So, when you have transferred your broken Jolly Ranchers or Lifesavers or whatever you're using, sour candies are awesome, like Warheads. Um, and they're in the bowl and they've gotten hard and clumpy. Uh, use a fork and just break it up carefully, otherwise you send candy going everywhere. Trust me, I know. It's been one of those days. So, that will break up the candy. Um, and typically when I'm breaking my candy up, I put it into these freezer, the heavier, the heavier duty bags. And use a meat mallet, a meat pounder, to break them up with. Some people say to use a uh, baking, like a rolling pin. However, I like my rolling pin too much to do that to it. So. I don't want little divots in my rolling pin. Now I have bumped the little uh, induction burner up from my medium high to just shy of the highest heat setting right now to finish off and get my uh, 300 degrees. I usually like to stop actually just a hair shy of it. It'll give you just a little bit more time to uh, coat your grapes and still set up nicely. Almost there, so I'm going to remove that. And I can feel the consistency getting about right. Um, actually, when I'm setting my spatula down, it's forming stringers from my surface here, which is usually my best indicator that it is almost perfect. Okay. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to move this from heat per second while I move some stuff around. Alright. I'm going to add our vanilla. It's going to bubble when you stir it in. Said you want to get moving quickly, so we're just going to move right into coating grapes. Tilt it up, dip it in, let a bunch fall off, dip it in your candy and roll it. You can tilt the bowl to grab the candy better. And set it onto a baking sheet that's been lined with parchment paper because that'll make your cleanup that much easier. This is my Jolly Rancher candy that already wants to get clumpy, so. I'll have to break that back up. Like I said, just grab a fork. Give it a mix and move on. a little bit of well, there, both my colors and continue until you are all done. Like I said, let some of the syrup here drip off and then go right into your coating. And I tip my bowl so I can grab the sides easier. That one clumped up a little bit on me. They all look so good. 
Okay, my sauce is syrup is starting to thicken up on me, so I better move it along, huh? Did you know that this works with grapes because they have a thicker skin? You can do this, the same kind of candy process here, with strawberries, but because they are softer, they won't hold up as long. They'll look beautiful, but they last about three hours is all. Now, when you're all done with the sticky mess, the easiest way to get all that uh, candied sugar out of your uh, saucepan and off your utensils and whatnot is to add some hot water back into your pan and bring it to a low boil. Everything will dissolve. So your spatula and everything can go in there while it's boiling. And uh, then you'll be able to clean it off. Okay, that's getting pretty thick. So that's gonna be our last one here. Uh, I, I know that um, if you wanna do more cracked grapes, because there's definitely enough syrup here to do that, to do a large batch. Okay, what you can do is put two or more of your grapes on each skewer to get them done rapidly and uh, a, a larger quantity of them done. Anyway, these need to set up for about a half an hour now, and uh, so we will let them do that. All right, your cracked grapes are ready to pull the skewers out of. Might lose a few candies. That's all there is to it. Go ahead and enjoy them with your favorite candies. Um, you can add coloring to the syrup, but I like the clear because the candy stands out better. So that's my opinion. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and uh, make sure to come see us again. Thanks for watching.